today's video, I'm going to compare some HDR footage from the iPhone 12 Pro Max and some non-HDR footage from the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This video right here is the HDR footage. Head over to my channel and watch the comparison video. And then we can decide if this new HDR Dolby Vision 10-bit stuff is really worth all the hype. shooting all this footage with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but I did discover a couple annoying issues. One is that the A14 Bionic processor, even though it's pretty awesome, it does struggle with some of these Dolby Vision 10-bit files. Most notably when I'm shooting 4K 60 frames per second with the ultra wide angle lens. I've seen freezing, stuttering, um, frame dropping, all kinds of terrible issues, and I've had to throw out a lot of those clips. That's kind of a big deal to me and kind of annoying. Fortunately, that hasn't really been the case with the other lenses. So check that out for yourself. Give that a little bit of testing. Try shooting 4K 60 frames per second with the ultra wide angle lens, and especially with scenes with a lot of movement in the background, and let me know if you have the same issues. Be sure to head over to my channel and watch the non-HDR version of this video so that you can compare the two.